Ask any diagnostician and they'll tell you. Making sound diagnostic decisions means having the appropriate data to look at to make those decisions. But capturing that data at the appropriate time base is what it takes to see what you need to see to make those diagnostic decisions efficiently. Just because a symptom is present on a vehicle and you've got your DSO connected to the vehicle doesn't necessarily mean you're going to capture the data you need to see. Setting up your scope for success is what today's episode of The Trainer is all about. This edition of The Trainer is brought to you by Auto. To see the full line of professional diagnostic tools and equipment from Autel, visit www.autel.com. The benefits of using a multi-trace digital storage oscilloscope, like the Autel's MS919 VCMI, are multifaceted. It's got excellent capture capability supported by these multiple channels, allowing you to simultaneously compare four elements to system functionality. This is what truly allows a story to be told. With the VCMI, the MS919 can sample up to a million data points per second. And like any scope, the data points are connected with lines plotted between them. It's the same concept as one of my favorite childhood pastimes, connect the dots. Only if there's dots missing from this picture of the dinosaur, the dinosaur is not going to look quite right. These million sample points mean the capture is close to live as it can be, and it means that little will evade capture. That is, of course, if the tool is set up appropriately. Just take a look at this picture. This is a great depiction of what sample rate is and how it affects the performance of our scope. The black dots are sample points that are connected by the lines like we just described. What you see in red is a glitch that occurred in between sample points. Meaning since there was insufficient sample rate, whatever data zoomed across the screen, the scope had missed it. If we wanted to capture this, we would have to increase the sample rate. Forcing your scope to do too much at once is going to cause it to miss data, miss vital information that you're trying to capture to make sound diagnostic decisions. So being able to understand the tool's limitations, setting up the time base appropriately to capture data appropriately, means maximizing the effectiveness of the scope you choose to use. And setting up that time base is what this is all about. The time base, it's going to determine the scope sample intervals, or again, how often it records a data point, its frequency. It may be more beneficial to have a very long time base with limited detail. I mean, that's the trade-off. The more time you put on the screen, the less detail you're going to have. On the other hand, it might be more beneficial in some situations to limit the amount of captured time to a smaller time base, one that's going to offer greater detail where you need it most. This all depends on the goal of the capture, what you're trying to accomplish. When utilizing a DSO or digital storage oscilloscope, I begin with longer time bases to offer more of a, a bird's eye view, kind of like an eagle or a hawk or any other bird of prey begins its hunt. It starts way up in the clouds and kind of surveys the area before coming down out of the clouds to make its final approach. The goal is to capture more data over time with less concern for detail. Again, the idea is to see a repetitive pattern over time. The view of the repetitive pattern helps to establish how often a fault or glitch is occurring, which can help point to the root cause of the glitch. For instance, as an engine rotates, you can see a glitch occur cycle per cycle per cycle. That really helps in the diagnostic process. As can be seen here, not much detail is visible but surely there's enough to see that a fault is not only present, but occurs repeatedly. In other words, once per engine cycle. That's what can be seen here in this zoomed out view of a relative compression test. Most often, a more detailed view of the same captured data is required to make a decision about where the fault is located and what is actually occurring. For example here, with this same relative compression test, captured that same data, but this time with a smaller time base. This allows for more of a, a zoomed in view, if you will. With multiple channels being utilized this time, I strategize to add an ignition trace to this relative compression test trace. And with knowledge of the firing order by simply referencing service information, it's quick to see that a specific cylinder is faulted. That limits the amount of time I need to spend under the hood with my sleeves rolled up getting dirty. Instead of attacking 
four cylinders or six cylinders or ten cylinders, I'm only focused on the one that's truly the problem. What's more of a unique feature on Autel's MS919 and VCMI scope platform is the ability to pinch zoom like you can see me doing here. That's something not many scopes can do. With my 25 years as an automotive technician, I'll be the first to tell you, it is not necessarily an easy job. But maximizing your tool's effectiveness will not only make each and every diagnostic job easier and more efficient, but will help to maximize your return on investment for what you paid with the tools. A highly capable scope like this Autel MS919, coupled with this VCMI, it has an adjustable sample rate and adjustable time base. It'll allow you to easily capture detailed data over a longer period of time, giving you the best of both worlds. Large amounts of data for analysis stored in the buffer and fine detail needed to be seen for making diagnostic decisions. Take your diagnostic abilities to the next level. Leverage the power of your scope's time base to help flush faults to the surface instead of you having to chase them. To get a better look at what Autel has to offer, see the full line of professional diagnostic solutions by visiting www.autel.com. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of The Trainer. Thank <laughs> you.